Good morning, ESM. Eight new honorees are being inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame, and a celebration in their honor will be held this Saturday during the boys' basketball game. More on the ceremony and the athletes themselves after news and announcements. Two teenagers from Baldwinsville, New York, were reported missing after leaving school around 10.50 a.m. Monday. 10th grade Athena, Aletha Lindsay, and 8th grade, 11th grade Hannah Wilson are not believed to be in any danger, police said. Anyone with information should call the Baldwinsville Police Department at 305-635-3131 from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 911. After a rapid spread, Omicron could be headed for a quick drop, quick drop in Britain. Scientists are seeing that COVID cases have peaked in Britain and will soon be doing the same in the U.S. One reason is that the variant is so contagious and may run out of people to infect. The University of Washington's model projects the daily reported cases in the U.S. will crest at 1.2 million by January 19th and will fall sharply after because everyone who could be infected will be infected. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The ESM Masterminds team opened their season with a home meet on Monday. Henry Callahan, Gordon Gallery, Max Newman, Ben Scalfaro, and Jack Tamalti put in great performances in posting wins over squads from Arabia and Skinny Atlas. The ESM JV team also had a strong showing in their opening matches, winning one of two. The Spartans' next meet is on January 31st. Yoga Club for today has been postponed until next Thursday. We're sorry for any inconvenience, but we're looking forward to seeing you next Thursday in the library. Mats will be available to borrow. Bring a friend. The Herf Jones representative will be here Wednesday, January 19th, <laughs> during lunches to take orders for caps and gowns. Deadline to order is January 31st. Please see Ms. Recor in the welcome booth if you have any questions or need the graduation packet. ESM has a long-standing tradition of honoring our alumni athletes in our Hall of Fame, which continues this year with the induction of eight new honorees. A dinner and reception will begin at 5.15 p.m. at the Traditions at the Links in East Syracuse on Saturday, January 15th. Everyone is welcome to attend the ceremony, starting with introductions at 3.45 p.m. The unveiling of each athlete's plaque of accomplishments will follow immediately in the Hall of Fame lobby outside of the gymnasium. Let's head to the weather to find out what it will be like during the celebration. Today, well, we will have a high of 39 and a low of 29 degrees. And today, it's gonna have a little bit of rain and maybe some snow, but it's mostly gonna be cloudy. Friday, we'll have a high of 23 and a very cold low of negative eight. So make sure you bundle up if you're gonna go out tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be mainly snowy with some sun and clouds here and there. Saturday, we'll have a high of five degrees and a low of negative 10, getting even colder. So you can see that we're now getting into that very, very cold winter weather. And with that, I'm Grayson with your Monday morning, not Monday. The athletes being inducted are Cheryl Cole, class of 82, Britt Dolan, class of 74, Lori Drennan, class of 89, and Dan Almonte, class of 92, for his baseball career that he continued into college. Additional nominees include Denny Murray, class of 78, Raymond Perry, class of 83, Charles Tyminski, class of 68, and Steve Kubeka, class of 56, pictured here with corn from his farm. <laughs> Even though the nominees for this year are in, you can always nominate new people. Visit the ESM Athletic Hall of Fame page, where there are currently more than 100 applications. Nominees will be considered for four years after being submitted. Let's move to sports to hear about some more current sporting events. The Brooklyn Nets beat the Chicago Bulls 138-112. to Kevin Durant led the Nets in scoring with 27 points on the night. Syracuse football player Sean Tucker has joined the Cuse track team running the 600-meter dash. His first race is this weekend. Tucker finished the year with 20 touchdown, 12 touchdowns and 1,496 yards. In upcoming sports, 
The wrestling team has a match at Oswego at 6. The girls volleyball team has a game against RFA at 6.30. The boys basketball team plays at Central Square at 6.45. Ice hockey plays at Syracuse City at 7. The girls basketball team has a game against Central Square at 7.15. This weekend, both girls and boys basketball teams are playing in the Hall of Fame games at 1 and 3 p.m. The Hall of Fame inductions will begin at halftime during the second game. Make sure you go out and support your team, and I'm Ellie with your sports. What do we have for you today? From me, Elena, and the rest of the morning show, have a great day.